everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. Today we are going to be making this skirt. So I actually have a pattern for this. It is linked on my Etsy and that is the first link down below. This is highly requested after posting a bunch of stuff wearing my little party skirt that I made a while ago during college. I think this pattern is so versatile. So like you could take the little skirt panel off of the front and make just a little pair of hot shorts. There are a lot of fun ways to customize this. For this, I have a facing. You could totally add a waistband if you wanted to. I just like the seamless look of the facing. You could also add little buckles on the side here like my other skirt. I did include that in this pattern because I just wanted to keep it simple, easy. You could totally add that on if you wanted to. The strap measurement would have changed a lot depending on the shape of your buckle or size of your buckle. So that would have been very confusing. So I just decided to keep it simple. But yeah, I've listed all of the supplies and equipment needed for this pattern in the pattern listing description, which is the first link down below. Also, of course, the pattern is the first link down below. All right, so if you wanna learn how to create this score, then just keep watching. So first, of course, you're gonna to wanna to print out your pattern. And if you're printing out on your home printer, make sure you're printing at 100% scale. Next, just line up all of your sheets of paper edge to edge, not overlapping. I prefer to use cardstock and then clear packaging tape so that it's a little bit more durable. And make sure you refer to your instruction pamphlet to figure out what size you are. For reference, I'm creating a US size two, but I did add a good amount of ease in here in case you guys wanna like tuck in a sweater or something with this. So if you want this skirt to be like skin tight party skirt, then I would definitely size down a size. And then and just repeat this process until you have all of your patterns. Then I'm just going to cut out all of my pieces, paying attention to the darts because I'm gonna also wanna transfer that dart to the fabric. So I'm just using a tracing wheel and tracing paper to do this. If your fabric is thin, then you might not need to use a lining for these other pieces, such as the facing and the second piece of the skirt front. But otherwise, if you're using a thick fabric, you're gonna wanna use a thinner lining for these pieces. Now let's get into the sewing. I always like to start off by sewing my darts. So I'm just going to pinch that dart together and sew along the line that we marked going nice and slow so that I make sure my dart doesn't pucker. Of course, do that to both sides and then we are ready to sew our center back crotch seam. So I'm just placing the two back panels right sides together and then pinning and then sewing along that center back crotch seam. And then of course, I'm going to finish that seam. Personally, I'm going to use my serger, but you can finish it with whatever method that you'd like. And don't forget to always press your project after every seam that you sew. Moving on to the front, I'm going to pin and sew the center front crotch seam together. And then again, just repeating what we did for the back, I'm going to serge it and then press that seam nice and flat. Moving on to the skirt panel, I'm going to place the shell and the lining right sides together and sew along the two straight lines. I'm not going to touch the waistline or the side seam. After I sew, pivoting at the corner, I'm just going to serge that and then turn it inside out before pressing it nice and flat. Now time to sew the facing, which people always get tripped up on facings because you have to sew it the opposite way that you sew the shell. So here's my foolproof way so that you guys don't get confused. So I have the back facing placed down first then I place the front facing right sides together on the back facing. Looking at that facing, I'm gonna grab the left side and sew it at that seam. The left side, right sides together, sew it at that seam and then serge it. This will end up being the right side of your skirt, but this is how it all works out in my head and I thought it would be easier to explain it to you guys like this. Okay, now I'm going to attach all of the pieces together. So I have my front pants right side up. I place my skirt panel also right side up right over top of that. And then finally I place the back pants right side down over top. I'm going to pin along the side seam right here. It's actually the right side seam, but it will be on our left hand side. And then I'm just going to sew and serge that. Now I'm also just going to pin and sew and serge together the crotch seam. So really easy, just a little tiny seam, get that done, make sure it's nice and flat and it's lined up. 
All right, so now we're ready to put our invisible zipper into our left side seam. As you can see here, I've already finished the edges using my serger. You're gonna want around 10 inches of workable zipper. So I recommend getting about a 12 to 14 inch invisible zipper and then cutting it down. I'm pinning and marking the zipper at about 10 inches down. And then I'm just going to sew the zipper all the way until my mark. Ready for the next side. I've marked on the other side of the zipper where I stopped sewing. You can see that little pencil mark at the bottom of the zipper where I stopped sewing. Um, and then I'm just going to line that up with like 10 inches down on the other side, pin that in place, and then just do the exact same thing and sew that zipper on. Then I'm just going to close up the rest of that side seam by just sewing it right sides together. Now onto the waistline. I'm just first pinning that skirt panel in place along the waistline so it doesn't move around while I'm trying to pin the facing on. And then before I pin the facing on, I'm also just going to finish the bottom edge of that facing. I'm using my serger, but use whatever method you prefer. Now I'm just placing my facing right sides together onto the skirt and I'm pinning all around the unfinished edges of the facing. Now we're gonna sew this together. When I'm sewing at the sides by the zipper, I'm not taking that full half inch seam allowance. I'm doing about a quarter inch seam allowance so you don't run into that zipper but when I sew the actual waistline I am taking the full half inch. Now we need to understitch. So to understitch, I have the body of the skirt on the left, I have the facing on the right, and I have the seam allowance underneath pointed towards the facing. Now I'm going to stitch through the facing and catch the seam allowance on the back side. I'm stitching about an eighth of an inch away from that waistline seam. This just helps keep the facing on the inside of the garment so it doesn't roll out while you're wearing it. It's also incredibly important that you go ahead and press the waistline seam afterwards so that it lays nice and flat. To further keep the facing from rolling out while you're wearing it, I've tacked it down at the center back seam, the side seam, and the front seam at the seam allowance. Now it's time to hem. So for the left leg, you'll be able to hem it just regularly, normally, really easy. Turn it up twice a half inch, so use a full one inch seam allowance and stitch it down. Now the other side will be a little bit trickier. That's because the skirt panel's in the way on the right leg. So here it is already done so you can see what I'm talking about. You want to sew it so that you don't catch the skirt panel. So we're gonna have to move it out of the way while we're sewing it so that it ends up looking like this. So here we go, I have the skirt panel, I'm placing it towards the back of the machine, I'm holding it right here, that's the skirt panel, and I'm just putting it away from me. And I'm gonna work on this pant leg and I'm gonna work on hemming it. You're gonna hem it basically normal, so I'm just gonna roll it over twice at a half inch each time. But when I start, I wanna make sure I start right at that side seam. I don't wanna start earlier than that side seam because you're gonna end up catching the skirt panel and you do not wanna do that. Now when you go all the way around and you're almost done, you wanna check to make sure that the skirt panel, see you can see the skirt panel, I'm holding it in my right hand right there, is facing now towards you. So you do not wanna accidentally catch that skirt panel. So all the way up and then end at the side seam, do not go over the side seam. And then you are done hemming. All right, so that is how you make this skirt. I am absolutely in love with it. I'm definitely going to be making a bunch more. I am so into wearing skirts whenever I'm going out because skirts, I just don't feel secure enough in, you know? So I'll definitely be making a bunch more. And if you guys make some skirts and post them on Instagram, please tag me because I would love to see your creations. I would love to support you, check them out. And also if you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok already, feel free to do so. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up because it is the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Also subscribe, hit that notification bell. And again, do not forget that the pattern for this score is on Etsy and it is the first link down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.